Well, it's been an up and down season so far for the Toronto Raptors as they sit two and two following a win over the Miami Heat. Rob Wong joined alongside by Toronto Center Raptors writer Mike Ganser. And Mike, uh, Pascal Siakam is definitely moving up the odds makers boards right now as far as MVP candidates go. The numbers are jumping off the page. Is it just a hot start or do you think it is something sustainable that maybe Siakam has taken another step? No, this is very much sustainable, Rob. He's been... um... You can just tell watching him. He, he's very, he's much more deliberate, and he, he just seems to know. He's he's a step of every, he's a step ahead of every of everybody else. I mean, the defense is planning for him. Last night in the second game here in Miami, they turned they they turned the tables on him for about the first half, first maybe first half, and then half of the third quarter, and and he figured it out. And and coming down the stretch, they couldn't stop him. I mean, Miami needed to get stops, and Brad kept putting the ball in Pascal's hands, and he got to the baseline. And, I mean, that, that, that turnaround jumper on the baseline where he falls back, I mean, that's almost undefendable. And uh, he's, no, he's been good. And uh, I, I don't see this dropping off. If anything, I think the scoring will probably go up uh, as he gets a little more accustomed to, to the, uh, to, you know, that role as, you know, the scorer. And, um, I mean, the assists are up, the rebounds are up. But I, I, think the, I think the scoring will probably go up even more than we've seen. Now, of course, the Akim can't do it all. He does need some help, and a couple of bigs off the bench have stepped up recently. Precious, Precious, uh, Precious Achua with a couple of big games against his former team in Miami, and, of course, the return of Chris Boucher is uh, going to help things. How key are those guys off the bench for what the Raptors are trying to do this year? They're huge, Rob. Um, Achua in particular, uh, well, not to, be, to that point, Boucher as well. They're going to need those two, and Otto Porter Jr. when he finally comes back or finally shows up. Achua had a rough start. Miami seemed to be the perfect tonic for him. I mean, I know he used to play here. He says he likes the warm weather. He got here, and he was he was a different player. He was um, those first two games. You saw a little bit of that uh, out of control, precious Achua that we were seeing early last year, uh, where he was just basically trying too hard and uh, trying to do everything. He calmed down here. He, uh, he he found his niche. I mean, 22 rebounds. What what do you say about that? He was he was so impressive last night. And then Boucher's return was huge. They uh, that second unit isn't that second unit without, you know, without him in it. He's the he's the energizer bunny on there. He's the guy who gets everybody going. And Precious said he just loves playing with the guy. He joked last night after the game that he was in his ear the entire three games saying, "You got to get back. I need you back in there." And uh, and they do play off each other. They make each other better. Well, we'll see uh, how the Raptors fare as they head home for a couple of games against the uh, Philadelphia 76ers at home. And one of the concerns coming into the season was the big minutes, of course, for certain guys, namely Fred Van Vliet and Pascal Siakam. I know they've been in a lot of close games this year, so they've you know needed those guys on the floor. But do you see any you know concern with uh, maybe the amount of time that those guys have spent on the court so far early this season? Yeah, I, I think there's always there's going to be a concern all year because it's just um, Nick Nurse. It's not in his nature to uh, sit those guys down, sit those guys down, or both of them anyway, in any you know big minutes. Um, anytime he he gets in trouble, anytime the Raptors seem to be the game starts seems to start getting away. If Fred's on the bench, he goes back in. If Pascal's on the bench, he goes back in. And I I think that's just the competitive nature of of, of Nick Nurse. He he wants to win. I mean, it might not be, you know, there, there are going to be games where we're, they're not going to be tight like these. I mean, all four games so far have been within three points, and that's definitely played into the minutes. But there are going to be games. I mean, you've got San Antonio coming up on the schedule. You've got some other weaker sisters or maybe even teams that aren't playing to win, per se, and are more interested in the draft. So when those games come around, I think you're going to see those two maybe take a bit of a step back instead of the 35 minutes they'll be down to, you know, 25, 28, and, uh, and and they'll get their time then. So not a huge concern, but it is definitely something worth keeping an eye on. Yeah, definitely something to monitor moving forward as the season progresses. As always, you can find Mike's coverage on the Raptors at the Toronto Sun.